When I started training for this triathlon about seven months ago, I would have never guessed we would have ended up in Cancun, Mexico. Good morning. We are 24 hours, less than 24 hours now. Humidity and heat here is a little different from what we have been training in. Today we have drop off our transition bags for T1 and T2. We just dropped off the bike at T1. Now we're heading to T2 to drop off all of our run gear, get everything checked in, finalized, get back, get a meal, get rest, get ready for tomorrow. Here in Cancun, everything's so tight, uh, a lot more traffic, more congested, so we're just trying to get around. But we're getting there, so on to T2. One day out from Challenge Cancun, just picked up the mopeds. Oh. Yeah, we're just gonna see if we can keep up with Nick now. That's gonna be the hard part. So today is just staying on top of everything and getting ready for the big day tomorrow. You know, over the last seven months, one of the things that I heard someone say that has stuck with me every single day is that you can learn something by talking about it by reading about it, but you truly don't understand it until you do it. So right now, we're leaving a meeting with my new Ironman coach, Natasha. We decided a few days ago, we're going deep into Ironman prep. We're going all in, and we'll train over the next you know, six to eight months for this next one. But the meeting with her went, like it, it couldn't have gone any better. The support of coaching that we're going to be getting, the community that we're going to get integrated here in Austin with the, the triathlon community is going to be a lot different from, from ways I've been training. I'm psyched, man. Like, we're all in. Not just me. The whole team, the whole BPN team, the whole media team, we are all in on this prep. And it's about to be crazy. So this morning is 17 miles. I ran nine miles, 20 miles of volume, 85 mile ride directly into a run. Next training session of the day, we're gonna do a nine mile run this morning. So that's today's workouts. So going into the race, I felt fully prepared. We traveled from obviously Austin, Texas to Cancun, Mexico. We're being out of our comfort zone, out of our routine. So maintaining that routine as much as possible was super important to me as soon as we landed here. And it's something I did very well. The morning of race day, I woke up about three hours before the race started and had my, my last meal before the race. So I got enough of carbohydrates in, okay. some more electrolytes, and I was sipping water leading into the swim start. So we nailed that. Like fueling and hydration was, was key, it was spot on. The swim out of all three sports is it's probably my weakest event. But my my cycling and my running is just a whole lot stronger than my swim. With this course, you kind of swim out maybe 150 meters, 
and then we took a 90 degree turn and we paralleled the beach. So just try to find a rhythm and just kind of punch through it and then coming back it should be just nice and smooth. You can see the change in the water color. You can yeah. pretty much run until then and then still the same rule applies. Keep swimming until your, your hands pretty much hit and then stand up and run. Okay, the time has come. Challenge, Cancun is here. So I feel solid. We're on the beach right now. We should be kicking off in the next 45 minutes. But at this point, there ain't nothing left to it but to motherfucking do it. Went out into the water to start off the day. Pros went out first, and then age groupers. The current was a little rough, so it was an out and back course. Going out it was a struggle. I also knew that because I was going into the current going out, coming back in was going to be a whole lot easier, and it was. And with the swim, one of my main focuses was keeping the heart rate lower and staying fresh going into the bike. Go, Nick! Hey, Natasha said don't look at your watch. That was a really hard swim. Don't get discouraged by it. Good job, Nick. probably at mile 15. I looked over and to the right of me was Tyler and Wyatt driving a moped and filming. And I looked over at him and I said, Laying down some rocks. And I was. Like I was passing people left and right on the bike. Because we spent so much time building power on the bike with big gear workouts, with sweet spot workouts, I knew the bike was a way for me to get ahead. I get stronger the longer I'm on a bike. So we knew going into it that the second half of the bike was gonna be stronger than the first half of the bike. So I kept the beginning very conservative. After I'd say 10 miles in, I could just feel I had so much power in my leg and I was just like crushing.
one thing I did realize, I'd say in the last five to 10 miles of the bike, is I could feel it start heating up. So I knew heat was gonna play a factor. In the last five to 10 miles of the bike, I could feel it start heating up and I could feel it in my back. I knew going into the run, it was gonna affect me a little bit, but I didn't know to what extent. So transition two was very quick, very smooth. I was able to grab a gel in transition, ditch all my bike gear, throw in my run gear. And as soon as I started running, I think my first mile on the run was like a 6.30 minute mile pace. And I was feeling strong. Nick is well into his run, but I want to give you a quick little rundown of how things have been going. The swim we've heard was rough. It's very windy as you can probably tell. Where he really uh, shined was the bike. He started the bike being in 195th place, and he ended the bike in 76th place overall. So he slayed the bike, and now he's on to the run. He's killing it. We're crossing our fingers for sub five. I think he's gonna do it. The goal was maintain heart rate so I can maintain a pace. What you don't wanna do is go out so hard that your heart rate jacks up. You can't bring your heart rate back down. You can't control your heart rate. You can't control your body temperature. And then by the end of it, you're running nine minute miles. This heat's no joke, it's killing me. I was trying to control my heart rate as much as possible. At every water station, I was stopping. I was pouring cold water on my head. I was taking a sponge, I was, I was dumping sponges all over me. Runners would run up and they would come up, they open up your kit, they pour ice down your back, they pour water on top of your head. The water stations were an absolute mess because everyone was just trying to cool off because heat was playing a factor. I realized it was gonna be a very tough run. I knew it was gonna to be tough because of the heat and I could feel my body temperature increasing, which in turn increased my heart rate. I could have ran a faster half marathon and my goal was one hour and 30 minutes for the half. The heat just played such a big factor that I couldn't hold the pace I wanted. At the end of the day, I learned a whole lot through the process and it was fun. And, and it was cool seeing the entire BPN team really come together and support it. You know, I was able to focus on the race and the race itself because I knew everything else was taken care of because of how strong the BPN team is at everything they do. Nicola Bell. Con el número 230, felicidades Nicolás. So that was Challenge Cancun. That was Iron Man prep. Season two wrapped up right here in Cancun, Mexico.